Hey guys, welcome back to another Capital Gains 500 video. And today we are doing the one week results of what happened with my $100,000 that I invested into EV stocks. And this is a video for all the non-believers that the stocks were gonna fall, that they were just gonna slowly die down. The hype is over, Tesla stock itself. You guys are gonna be surprised to see my PNL just on Tesla. And as you guys know, most of the other EV stocks are following Tesla's tail. So if Tesla isn't doing so hot, or if it is doing so hot, maybe the other ones will be doing hot too <laughs> so let's check it out we are doing paper trading for this experiment because i would not want to be losing three thousand dollars right now i would be freaking out especially on day one so the things that we purchased in our ev collection was some workhorse stock approximately twenty thousand dollars we bought some solo almost twenty thousand didn't get the full order of 20 some shill some tesla and finally some neo I was supposed to buy some Nikola, which good thing I didn't or else this P&L would be way lower. <laughs> our losses would be greater. After our initial investment last week on Friday, on the opening of this week on Monday, we literally lost a little bit over $4,000. On this daily PL, it's not really showing us what companies were dragging us down, but essentially it was Solo that quickly brought us down. I purchased Solo here at around $3.50, and on Monday, because we had a huge quantity and a, a couple of pennies was a big loss that in the next day on opening on Monday, we lost a, quite a bit of money. Then Tuesday, we lost quite a bit of money. Then Thursday, we lost quite a bit of money. So our PL kept going down and down and down so quickly just with Solo. Again, Again, because small movements in this penny stock resulted in a large percentage decline. But then surprisingly, somehow on Thursday, out of the blue, out of nowhere, a whole bunch of buyers came in and they took the stock price from the low of $2.80 all the way to after hours to almost $5. If we would have been able to cash out here, we would have made huge gains. But unfortunately, that was aftermarket, pre-market, and the next day, the sell-off quickly started. We had no chance to capture any gains, which... First of all, we're not even trading. We're quote unquote investing for the long run, theoretically in this experiment. For people who say, no, you gotta hold for the long term. Well, it did a wave and now we're under once again and our PNL is not looking so great for solo. It's negative. It's our biggest loser at a loss of 7%, 7.3%. 7 resulting in a loss of almost $1,500. Shill also lost money. Tesla lost money. Tesla had a crazy week. At one point, it jumped all the way to 1550, which was great. Started stagnating, was having a little bit of trouble here and there. On Monday, after we purchased it, it went all the way almost to 1700. You know, we were going to the moon, but then the quickly the sellers came in, swooped it up, more buyers came back. It jumped again all the way to 1550, a little bit stagnant, stagnant, and then on Friday, a sell off. And now we're we're in the red. We're in the red unfortunately with Tesla my hopes are still high for Tesla overall uh, I still believe this one's gonna be the biggest winner out of this whole competition and then we have Neo Neo actually uh, it surprised me I thought it would be lower only a loss of 2% so as you can see most of these EV stocks are in the red in the red after one week and of course it all depends on when you buy in but in, unfortunately what I continue to see is that over the long run the losses are just going to continue to occur and I made this spreadsheet so we can keep track my initial prediction for Tesla was that in one week it was going to be around $1,600 unfortunately it is not it is at $1,425 workhorse I thought we would be in the green which it's the only one that is but not at at $16 at 1570 shill I was having a little bit of hopes with it at least for it to be a dollar above we were actually a dollar under then we have neo neo uh i thought it could do good a lot of people you know were speaking great things about it wasn't that bad we paid an average price of 12 dollars and 13 cents and we're only a couple pennies down but due to a huge quantity like you can see we're down 392 dollars and lastly solo the one that i most dislike we're down 7.35 percent the most out of all of them so it's the biggest loser. I thought it would be at $4. Like I actually gave it some hope and then that it would go down because in my one month prediction, it's supposed to be at 250. Not too shocked about this one. I forgot to buy Nikola, which at the end of the day, doesn't matter. Like it was literally 
a huge loss. It had a bad week from when we started this challenge. It's just been going down and down and down. So it would have been adding a good amount of losses to our challenge, almost 25%. So ah, good thing I'm not even keeping track of it. Where is it going to be in a month? I still have my prediction though. I predict that in a month. Oh, wow. I got no way. I got Nicola right. Nicola in one week was supposed to be at 30. There we are. Why didn't I short this stock? Why didn't I pull a put on, on my actual accounts? Dang it. <laughs> it's at 30 and my one month prediction is at 25. Nicola, good thing it's not in my PL because it, it was it was such a loser. It's a big time loser. And then this week I made a video on candy and it was the new EV stock that came out it had its wave if you want to do follow-ups on what the heck is candy and should you invest in it i have videos in my youtube channel so check them out but i am i was thinking about adding it to this challenge and honestly no i'm not it was like it was terrible candy was a bad investment pumped up and dumped the next day so fast so check those videos out be careful with these ev stocks again the hype is over the craze is over i'm just showing you guys with People who are still quote unquote buying into it, um, buying the dip or whatever, like it's crazy. The chances of being profitable in a month, in a year are very low, especially when you see things like this. Like let's take a look at Solo, for example. It has a negative EPS, okay? Then we take a look at Workhorse. A PE of negative 59.69. Like most of these, like if any, are very unprofitable. That's really difficult for to justify their price. So investors are slowly going to start realizing that, that the price tag is way too high for the real fundamentals of these businesses. For them to do a 180 and start shooting up and have positive PEs, they really need to act fast in the real world, not in the stock market world, where it's all about sentiment and how people feel about a stock and push it up or push it down. That's the reality. Even though stocks seem to be unrealistic with current reality, at the end of the day, they do have to have some correlation because investors are going to take notice of, oh gosh, I'm, I'm pretty heavily invested in a company that's not profitable. Negative PE, negative price to earnings. Damn, what am I doing? <laughs> I believe Shill is one of the profitable ones. Oh yes, here it is. But not even, not even one EPS. It's like a point zero seven. So oof, these, that means it's really expensive. It's really expensive. You're paying high premium to own this company and your hopes are someone else in the future will pay you more. <laughs> so this challenge was just to show you guys the hype is over. Every day it was a crazy day. Um, only on Thursday were we up $1,000 and I believe that was because Solo went up and a couple of these ones went up and shot up and then we were at least in the green by, by like two percentage points and then we quickly went down so fast like the next day we lost our gains and then the, ne the third day we lost so much more um we were only gr in the green two out of the five days this week and i don't see it really changing if anything just another steady decline for the next month so i will update you guys on that one in the future if you enjoyed this video leave a like if you have any ev stocks let me know down in the comments um are you selling have you sold were you in them are you do you still have high hopes? Are you in Tesla all the way? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I'm doing this for your guys' entertainment, just entertainment purposes, and also just to show you that, like, be very careful when investing, especially into hype stocks. Those are the ones quickly to crash. You don't want to be that person holding the bag at the end of the day when everybody left. So be careful. Subscribe to the channel so you can get the best stock investment information as soon as possible. Do my best to try to bring it to your attention as quick as possible. So for that, remember to subscribe before clicking off. And thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. Godspeed indeed. Vehicle pitching downrange.